The global pandemic that is still happening forced us to take some actions to overcome this problem such as quarantine, maintaining sanitation, social distancing, and vaccination. Unfortunately, this action has led to an increase in the single-use item waste, some of which are made of styrofoam. Styrofoam waste makes up about 30% of the total waste in the world's landfills. Styrofoam is widely used, especially as a food container and packaging goods because it is lightweight, water, heat, chemical, and microbe resistant, and also durable. Unfortunately, styrofoam waste have negative impacts on the environment because it takes a very long time to degrade. In addition, styrofoam waste is also toxic. Therefore, a styrofoam has great potential as an alternative to styrofoam. Esterofoam is environmentally friendly because it can be naturally degraded after being used. Esterofoam is made from a biopolymer of glycerol, citric acid, and starch. Esterification occurs between the carboxyl and hydroxyl groups of glycerol and citric acid with a byproduct of water. Because of the other group are still open, the polymerization process can take place. In addition, starch can be used because it has many hydroxyl groups. Besides, starch is also cheap. The following is the setup of equipment needed for the manufacture of biopolymer. The foam structure is formed as a result of evaporation of water. The following is the process of making esterofoam. Glycerol and citric acid are heated at a temperature of 130 to 150 degrees Celsius. The oil bath here serves to stabilize the temperature. 10 minutes after the citric acid dissolved, starch is added. The polymer is heated until it turns brownish red. Then it pour into the mold and oven at temperature of 180 degrees Celsius for one hour. This process will evaporate the water content in the polymer and the foam structure is formed. Esterofoam has great potential as an environmentally friendly alternative to solve the styrofoam waste problem. Thank you.